That's right, good people. We're about to talk about my favorite Stephen King movie. And like I was saying, we was. Come on, man. Bam, bam. 1408. I really love this movie. Um, starring uh, John Cusack and Samuel Jackson. This movie is good as shit. I really love any Stephen King movie because Stephen King like really knew how to write his shit. And I think that when, however, Stephen King, a lot of Stephen King novels came out of his dreams. And he just wrote them shits down. And now we got a scary ass movie. But this movie is good as I don't know what. But that song, I don't know why older songs are just creepy as fuck. You know, they always come on like, we've only just begun. Yeah, that's some creepy ass shit. And then you got that insidious, like, <laughs> have you ever really saw the boogeyman before? That the, I'm like, oh my God, hush, hush, hush. Here comes the boogeyman. And then I said, he'll catch you if he can. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Whatever, but to make a long story short, basically he plays this um, guy named Mike, Mike something. I'm fucking guy's last name already. But John Cusack plays this guy named Mike that basically goes from places to places and looking for real hauntings, and he want nothing more than to really experience a real haunting. And he's also a writer, so he also write about these things. He write books about, you know, horror novels and all that good shit. And then he finally, finally, have y'all ever heard the saying called, be careful what you ask for, because your ass might just get it? Well, he pretty much just got it, because his ass decided he wanted to go to the hotel 1408. And Samuel Jackson like, listen, man, he's trying to plead with him. He's like giving him tickets to the Knicks game, all that shit. He's like, Fuck that. Where's the key? I want to see the room. I don't believe in that spook house bullshit. I'm pretty sure he do now, and I'm pretty sure he believe in Jesus after he done spent time up in that room. Just one hour in that room was fucking him up. Then he got nerve to run back and start again just in case if it don't convince you to kill yourself. This is a good-ass movie. Just like Samuel Jackson said, that's a big fucking evil room. And he still wanted the keys. And I love this movie because this movie kick ass. Let's give the movie a break, Michelle. This movie... A big ass smiley face. We only just. It was the sadder part. The, the the sad part was when he lost his daughter. That shit almost brought me tears. I ain't gonna lie, man, because that room is evil as shit. Like, I'm not gonna spoil it, but y'all gotta see this movie. Check it out. 1408. If you ain't never seen 1408, stop skipping it. You need to go see that shit. You need to check it out. You need to go pick it up. Go pick it up on Blu-ray. Pick this shit up because it's really that good. And I like when he wild out in the refrigerator. I mean, he went the fuck off on Samuel Jackson. Talking to him through the refrigerator. I was done. I felt, I just passed the fuck out dying laughing. That shit was too funny. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget to leave a comment. You know, let me know what you think about 1408. Because I already told you what I thought about it. And to all my movie lovers, I love you.